how to benchmark your GPU to ensure it's working properly i.e. in terms of performance and temperatures first thing you need to do is to go to the geekstd.com website and download MSI Combuster which gives you this menu of options so download that and then you can start to benchmark it and also you probably should have installed MSI Afterburner so in this the GPU in this computer the GTX 970 is slightly overclocked so we're going to benchmark it the settings are you got a benchmark for 1080p 1440 and 4k so what you do is you work your way down and you also click on the artifact scanner that tells you basically if there's something wrong with your GPU that is not working properly so you need to click that and then it will log any artifact artifacts it finds as it does the scan so once you've downloaded it then you start the benchmarking process by selecting the 1080p setting first it's straightforward to download like I say it's free and off we go that's the benchmark going and there you've got a progress indicator 10% and at the bottom you've got the GPU temp yeah, frames per second to compare GPU load, CPU power, nothing there and of course the number of artifacts it's found during the course of the benchmark and in the right corner you've got a temperature gauge so as the benchmark progresses the temperature rises basically if your GPU is working properly and it's got adequate cooling in your case in your system then it shouldn't really go much above 80 degrees during this benchmark so basically for a good system build then it should top up off at around 80 the more it goes above 80 the worse your system is in terms of cooling Right, the benchmark's complete, and that's the score, 1357, 22 FPS, no artifacts, and it's continuing to continue, and the temperature's going off to 78 degrees, but it's completed at around 77 degrees, so I can end the test by pressing the escape key. So that's the first test done, we've got 22 FPS. Uh, the temperature is fast falling back towards idle so that's a good rating for the GTX 970 I think usually they're around 19 degrees so that's a so this system the card in this system is absolutely fine but that was the first test next is that 1440p which will be more GPU bound like the first one is more probably CPU bound than the 1440p test so here we go again the uh, FPS is going to drop a lot on this GTX 970 from 22 to what we're getting 18 let's not drop much so there we go the benchmark running obviously we're going to have to wait till the benchmarks complete the current temperature is 72 degrees 74 creeping up FPS is still quite good 18 at 1440p there we go there's a full screen 1440p CPU load it's not under full load 40 degree 40 percent and we'll see what the final score is like I said it was 22 for 1080p and 1440p looking to come out around 16 FPS so complete the benchmark we're now looking at the temperature to shoot it up to 80 degrees you gotta make sure to press the skip after the test otherwise it continues running and of course there were no artifacts and the final test if you don't really need the monitor for it but it would help if you had a 4k monitor 
is oh try a different resolution I can't so if you had a 4k monitor which I do have but unfortunately I've not plugged it in then you could test it at 4k as well obviously the FPS will drop anyway that's how you test your new GPU a quick easy way to test it to make sure it's working um, you could run a stress test but you got a risk that you're going to damage it then this is a quick easy way without doing any damage to compare it against others just run the benchmark first one MS1 benchmark at 1080p 44 and if you got a 4k screen connected at 4k and then compare the FPS like I did, this one is performing slightly better than most GTX 970s and of course I'll benchmark other GPUs as I test this out anyway now you know how to test your graphics card to make sure it's working go to the CD geeks3d.com site download MSI Combuster uh, select artifact scanner so it, it picks up any issues with your card it shouldn't be any artifacts if it's producing artifacts under load and you've got a problem and then all you do is you go and click the benchmark preset 1080p and off it runs you got the uh, indicator there the progress indicator specs on your machine GPU uh, CPU temperature and load 62 degrees and then you got obviously the GPU temp estimated FPS but obviously you have to wait for the final and the number of artifacts also important and you got a little chart up there so we'll test it again and see if it's same as before 22 degrees and if you really you want to let it run for if you've got a brand new system a brand new GPU you want to let it run for at least half an hour you know to make sure it's working properly but for a, a quick test this is absolutely fine uh, 22 FPS no change so the system is stable and uh, the GPU has gone back over 80 and we'll exit it. That's where the danger Terry went when a GPU starts going over 80. But it's fine as long as for the duration of the test stays below. Just remember it will continue going. So you have to press escape after you've got the result. Anyway, now you know how to test your GPU to make sure it's working. All for free. Easy. Also make sure to download. MSI Afterburn which is a great tool for overclocking, safe overclocking, stable overclocking like I've done. I only overclocked it a little bit as you can see and you also can set the fan curves. Do subscribe for more tech videos to ensure you get the best out of your components whilst making sure you don't destroy them by overdoing it overdoing the temps the main thing to watch is temperatures that's what kills components so you know over 80 you want to less time over 80 the better obviously when you're stressing it it will go over 80 but the less time uh, GPU or any component CPU spends over 80 degrees the better preferably you shouldn't go over 80 but under load yeah you'll get spikes you definitely don't want to start seeing it go over 90 that is the shortening your if your GPU any GPU is over 90 90 plus you are actively shortening its life and you're risking damaging it and thus resulting in artifacts but a new GPU it should be able to run this for 30 minutes there shouldn't be any artifacts or anything if they are then it's faulty so it's a good way to test your new GPUs working properly a good quick way like I said I would run the stress test for half an hour 
like so but this video is more for benchmarking than stressing see there off it goes and then it's scanning for artifacts temperatures are going up that's what basically you would do just see run a 30 minute stress test just to make sure it's working which I know this card is good so I'm not gonna put this six year old GTX 970 on risk damaging it by going over 80 if it was brand new then I would but I've just received it and we got seven, temperatures going up 78 Any artifacts? Nothing. There's going over 80 now. I'm just going to call it a day for this. I don't need to stress test it. I know it's fine. No point. See, the older your components are, the, the greater the risk of damage. So you might want to, under when your component, like a GPU, gets to several years old, you might want to think about you know if you overclocked it to reduce the overclocking or put it back to stock to prolong its life so the older it is the more prone it is to failure because you've had a it's called you know the silicon's qualities degraded over time the etchings on the CPU the gates are not as good as when you first got the computer you want to keep that in mind if your component is several years old, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to stress test it to over 90 degrees, you're going to risk damaging it. Only new components you should stress test just to make sure that this, because obviously if it fails, you can just send it back. You know, complain it, it failed, it's got artifacts, which it shouldn't have for a brand new one. And don't overdo the stress testing you know you're just checking to make sure it works under load and that's it it's not like you're going to stress test it every week that's going to shorten its life every time your gpu is going over 80 it's putting obviously it, that's why it's called a stress test you're putting a component under stress and the older it is the more prone it is to fail especially when you start hitting 90 degrees anyway i'm wrapping this video up now